Hey, what is up, you guys? Welcome to another new Lane Rush video. I mean, Lane Rush for Robert. I'm Emmy. And today we are going to be checking out what everyone claims, or every every wrestling fan will claim, this is the number one best Hell in a Cell match ever. This is going to be the Undertaker versus Mankind in King of the Ring. I don't know the date of when it was. Uh, yeah, I don't have the date. Um, Emily's not a wrestling fan. Nope. She's done a couple videos with me where I checked and out I've like. And I had the ice cream. Yes. That's one of the only things she made in life. The ice cream. cream. But yes, so I'm going to try to convert Emily into becoming a wrestling fan. And I thought, let's do it with, like I said, what we claim to be the best Hell in a Cell match. Um, Can I just say that I know who wrestling is? I mean, I know what wrestling is. Okay, what do you know? Uh, <laughs> what do you know? Let's, okay. let's put you on the spot. Let's go. Let's go. Spotlight. Who's this Dun! guy? That is a hairy man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got half his name, right? Okay, hairy man. Yeah. Uh, no, hairy man. Armpit man. Um, but I know uh, John Cena. Mm -hmm. I know The Undertaker because of you. Okay, he's in this match. Okay, you see, I know Harry Man's right here. Sponsor, please. Um, Go on. Hold on, give me a sec. I know the people in the ice cream bars. We used to get the ice cream. Okay, but name a wrestler that was on an ice cream bar. John Cena. No. <laughs> yes? No. John Cena was on the ice cream bar, I believe. Uh, no, I think it was before his time. And that one guy who came, who was like, it was a, no, I don't know, never mind. Wrong. Come on, you have to know one wrestler who was an actor. He's he's an actor right now. Oh, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Who's Gamora? <laughs> Okay, that okay, okay, that's a good one. Okay, there's another one. There's another actor right now who is also in wrestling. The Rock. There you go. Okay. So I want to show you a match with The Rock later on too. Eventually, not right now, but eventually. That's John Cena. Oh. Um. But yes. Uh. So like I said, this is uh one of the most well-known wrestling matches. This is um. Secret parts are COVID. So back in the day, uh, back in the day, uh, Hell in a Cell used to be like the ending to every rivalry. Like if it was like crazy, like crazy rivalry between like what we would call a baby face which is a good guy and a heel which is a bad guy mm -hmm. and they would usually sometimes end up meeting in a hell in a cell and that's where Helena? most of what's the worst <laughs> thing i could say i said hell in a cell <laughs> but, oh uh, but yeah it, it don't matter but anyways um this is usually where it would end undertaker would be one of the main people who tend to be in a hell in a cell now they have a pay-per-view called hell in a cell which all I hear is Helena. <laughs> Which kind of sucks because, like, it's not this. This. Oh, it's like in Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, the okay. cage match. Yeah, the yeah, cage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, kind of like that. Uh, the guy in that in that match with uh with uh Tobey Maguire who fought Spider Man is also a wrestler. Four. His name's uh Randy Savage. He's like before my time. He's a savage. <laughs> Classy. Bougie. But yeah, uh, there's a lot of story behind this. Um, You're such a nerd. Uh, this is gonna piss off wrestling fans, but like. You call wrestling fake, which it's not really fake to where it's No, because scripted. look, they're going like this. Okay, no, yeah. No, look, 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 look. They, When they punch, the camera goes boom, and the okay, camera yeah. goes boom. Sure. So. sure, punches, punches, and sometimes kicks Are aren't real. No, but you have to there? you have to realize this because I'm I'm also explaining this to them. So let's say if they do hit someone hard on accident, the other, the person who got hit can do a receipt which means they can do the same thing it doesn't have to be right after but they can do it whenever they feel like it mm -hmm. and that's called a receipt the point of the whole thing what i'm saying where you said wrestling was fake you're gonna see in this match crazy shit i'm just gonna tell you all mm, right back then yeah all right without further ado let's get the video started we'll go from here it's the chainsaw massacre so this is yeah it's kind of funny you think about it it's actually kind of Inspired by that in a way. This is uh, Mankind. I love this movie. You might also know. Well, you might. You won't. He. Uh, his name is McFoley. He has four characters, which is McFoley, Mankind, Cactus Jack, and Dude Love. But they all have different personalities and different kind of inspirations for each other. Oh, by the way, rings. I mean, uh, cage matches back then used to be made very kind of cheapish. Not cheap, but like not as good as they are now so you're gonna see oh, like about this that's what's great. a lot I'm, just I'm a lot you, I've happens this guy. I've okay. competed against this guy it's like <laughs> we are here. especially when you're in there in the ring oh, against no. him they were supposed to they were supposed to start in the um you're supposed to start in the ring he decided i'm gonna climb it it's fucking spider-man <laughs> Me, my ancestors would be so proud, uh, so disappointed in me because I couldn't climb it. I couldn't climb it. Oh, but you know what I mean? Wait, get up to the top of the cage. 
that. You have a lot. So you're gonna hear little pingy noises. Watch. That's the cage breaking. God only knows. All the things he's lost. Look, look. Watch his feet. Oh, here we go. Where's Undertaker? Mm-hmm. You see, I know. I'm a little educated. Doer is inhuman. Ooh, you're naked. How they will put their bodies on the line here. What? I just hear. Is he getting naked? It's because I'm telling you, like those little you speedo things. Yeah. You want to come up there and fight? I'm going to come up and whip your butt. Oh, my God. Uh-uh, let go of my hair. No, he may not make it up. <laughs> Undertaker in a very precarious position. Get the chainsaw, oh. man. <laughs> Nothing between the Undertaker and the concrete floor but imagination. Look, see, because they already went down the uh, the cage. You can see it. And apparently, Hell in the Cell match is officially underway in the most god awful of locations. Oh How am I trying to hit my pe people who hate me? By the way, just so you know, like they've talked about it, the like, the chairs and like tables and stuff, they're real. They're real. It's not like fake. It's not plastic. They're, it's actual like. Gotcha. Make the hair I like it. Pounders up there. 300 pounders? Don't mention my weight, mom. <laughs> if he would have done this, they probably would have went through the cage. That was a fat ass, though. Um, <laughs> I'm a Sue. <laughs> oh my god, he's under the table. So, mankind is well known for crazy shit. He's known as, like, the, <laughs> <laughs> not the Mexican announce table. <laughs> Yes. Racist. The Mexican announce tables end up always being the ones that are broken. <laughs> I'm sensing a little hate crime. <laughs> but um, uh, the story of it is like they're up there and usually they choreograph their matches. Like they'll talk to each other like when they can. And um, mankind told Undertaker he's like, throw me off the cage, just throw me off. You said there's a Mexican table though. Yeah, the Spanish table. This is um. A little hate crime. <laughs> oh my God, look at this, folks. And um, he has a concussion right now. Me. From um, from here to like, no, thank you. From here to the end of the match, I believe, because he's he's, he's done <laughs> he's done interviews in um, um, I think from here he doesn't remember the rest of the match. I think it's from here. Someone needs to help the chainsaw massacre. That's uh, his best friend, um, Terry Funk. He recently just passed away, I think, last year. Or a couple of months ago. Nah, I wouldn't turn him up. Uh -uh. He told him to throw him. I know about that bitch. I said, throw me, not give me a concussion. <laughs> Look at this shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all I hear was just ladies screaming. They're all men. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, uh, fucking. That one movie. What's the movie? <laughs> somebody get her out of here. <laughs> and then, and then there was the president. Up, yeah. <laughs> and there's the president. Oh. Oh. <laughs> It could have been bad though. It could have been worse. He could have hit the 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 bar, like the one that shields from like the fans. Why are they covering the signs? Oh, uh, cause back then uh, it used to be WWF. Now it's WWE. But uh, I don't know if you know about this. Like uh, it's kind of like PETA, where it's like WWF and it's like a panda. They sued WWF to change their name to WWE. Mm. Yeah, that's why they're now known as WWE instead of WWF. And this wasn't the main event either, by the way. 
the main event it means like uh, the last match on the card so this was like right before the main event and then like the people who did like the last match they're like how are we supposed to talk this <laughs> I don't know whoever wife they, that was or a guy. They're not bringing them again. So um, what I was saying is, um, yeah, no, it's all right. They don't hit each other in the head with chairs anymore because of uh, uh, someone got like a lot of brain trauma and stuff like that. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And uh, he killed his son and wife and then himself. Mm. You watched that documentary. I uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I should do a bit of it. Chainsaw Man is walking. He's got a smile on his face, for God's sakes. Are you kidding me? He wants to go back up. Uh-uh. And Pine is going back up. No way. And so is the Undertaker. No way. How can he climb? How can his body? Not him getting the chair. Mr. Mr. Sir, you just gave him a, a little concussion. And the Chainsaw Man needs to get up. Absolutely amazing here. Jesus. Did you have kids? Yeah. How? <laughs> There's no way in hell he has kids. So, um. Sperm donor, anyway. No, no, no. Funny enough, The Undertaker didn't really go through much, like, damage or anything. Like, he barely got hurt in this match, but he ended up hurting himself. <laughs> You'll see, you'll see right now. Watch. Look at that, right here. <laughs> Look, right there. You, you see how he hopped? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he hurt his ankle. Why are they all running from him? Because they don't want to get hit. Um, so there's a moment where these two right here, they get close to each other. Right here. Uh, he's, he's actually talking to him. He's like uh, asking him if he's okay. And he got his answer, and then he just did that. I would suit him. Yeah. Because <laughs> they had to communicate with each other somehow. He took off his papoos. Somebody get his shoe. Oh my god. He just got choke slammed out of his shoes, it looked like. And I just said that. Before he did. Oh, and the chair landed on his face. Is that the cushion they have on these boards? They don't, they don't have cushion. So what it is, it's a it's a wooden plank and like just a little little bit of cushion and uh like the mat the the layer on there. There's shoes, there's chairs, there's caps, there's a cage hanging, and there's a human being in there that is unbelievable. Yeah, now he's like severely severely concussed. I never thought I would say that about somebody. And he still continues. What more can you do to a human being? They're dancing. Oh, then, uh, <laughs> we were just <laughs> kids when we fell in love. Right oh, Jack. From the one of the French ladies. Jeez. Oh. He's still like down in an office and they're talking <laughs> to these guys inside there. Who made that ruling? Yeah, that's a, that's a thing. Oh. Yeah. oh He's like, guys, I'm still good. That's his tooth. That's his tooth? That's his tooth. That's your tooth? This is my chocolate. <laughs> from uh, from when he fell, like, I guess his tooth, like... Yeah. <laughs> oh, and he's smiling. Uh -oh. He is smiling. You had to know this. You had to know that it was going to be something like this. I mean, you knew these guys wanted to get at each other in the worst way, but I never dreamed it would be... This kind of stuff. Oh, I don't know if a tooth went through uh, his lip in mankind and he bit his tongue. His left arm is is, is dangling. I think that the blood that's coming out of his mouth. Yeah, is he's just he's just like very him. very hurt. I mean, this man weighs 300 pounds. Stop mentioning my weight. <laughs> <laughs> we heard you. Twice. I low cam with the chainsaw man. Yeah, he couldn't lift it. Uh -oh. 
has that sticking out of his nose. Oh my god, the chainsaw man. Something, something called the ambulance. Oh, the guy you hear talking, um, his name is Jim Ross. He's also like known as one of the most like best announcers like ever. So for um, back then, especially, well, even now, like um, wrestlers defend themselves like from stuff like that, which they do it by like. Lifting their hand, so it mainly protects them like from getting hit. But he's so injured that he can't even like lift his hands or anything. Undertaker tried that missile like dive and found nothing but the steel that time. Okay, people are suicidal. <laughs> they really are suicidal. Seemingly just passed out. The Undertaker was in midair and couldn't change direction, obviously. That was a guy I don't care about. <laughs> Call this thing Bob. <laughs> Someone get her out of here. You should, you should put that clip. Yeah, I was going to. <laughs> John Ormaco. <coughs> Undertaker and Mankind are in hell. Hell is in Pittsburgh tonight in this match. They're both in hell, you're right, but both of these men have claimed to like it in hell. Oh, you think we're done with crazy stuff? We're not even done yet. I'm not done yet. Not my balls. I, was, I'm, I, I know he, he can't have kids. <laughs> oh, he's bleeding. We gave him a tampon. <laughs> not the tampon. He needs it. They're super absorbent. <laughs> That's to like... Make make the wound a little opener so that way they can uh, bleed a little more. Need a tampon. Just know he's still concussed. He's really not even there, and he's still doing all this. It's me when I have too much sugar. He's got what is that out of his nose? Something has uh, probably a piece of that wooden table that he landed on. It probably pierced right through his nose. Maybe a tooth. Oh God, you don't think. And yes, it was a tooth. How do you know? He's he's talked about it in interviews. Mm. Yeah, I feel like a little more. Like, <laughs> he didn't feel that big ass. Sack, you want a chicken sandwich? What's that? No. This is what he's well known for, his thumbtacks in a bag. Maybe I need to date a man who's like 300 pounds because he lifted him like nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh oh. Wait a minute. No, you. He's near those tacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why do you have to roll, you dummy? Why'd you roll the other way? So, well, I don't know. Something funny. No. He's a huge 
So he's talked about it in our interview where when he landed like that, he wasn't satisfied. He wanted to land like exactly in them. Like that first landing he did was not good enough. Not good enough. He's fucking. You'll see. Yeah, do it again. There we go. Now he's happy. <laughs> What? It was a good video, a really good video. I love the Chainsaw Man and the Undertaker Man. But when are they bringing the ice creams back? That's, never. That's my only concern here. They're never gonna bring them back. I think they did bring them back, but like they didn't put the the wrestlers' face on them. The, eating the wrestlers was the best thing. Yeah, I think that I think they brought it back. I think they brought it back, but I think they didn't put like the wrestlers on there like they did like previous. I can't keep living like this. They removed like ten of my favorite ice cream rings. So all together, what did you think of the match? The bitches are suicidal. They need a mental evaluation. I know what he's like. Yeah. One more time, bitch. You're bleeding. <laughs> so there's also a cra another crazy match with him that I, I, if I can find, I'll show you. But there's a, a match with him and The Rock you know, in a, a, a stipulation match called an I Quit match, which is where you're supposed to injure your opponent too much to where they can't handle it anymore, and then they say I quit. <laughs> and then they say I quit. And uh, like I said, The Rock and him were also in that match. And that match is like brutal. They need, to, they need to sponsor pad tampons and shit. <laughs> the way he was bleeding, he needs something super absorbent. Maxi pad. <laughs> just put, just put like, put it on and then put some tape on it. If I was a wrestler and I was bleeding a lot, I'd be like, you know, who do you want your sponsor? Please hire always. <laughs> oh, like I said, this was known as one of the best Hell in Cell matches. Uh, what do you think of it? It was pretty gruesome. The chainsaw man, he's a badass. Yeah, and he he's done worse than this, way worse. And like other companies and stuff like that, he's been through. The chainsaw massacre wasn't enough for him. No, there's. He there. had to come over here and wrestle people. Oh, he's lost an ear. <gasps> Mike Tyson. So, uh, so uh, I don't know how it happened to be honest, but like you know how like the ropes were. Mm -hmm. So he was off of a rope, and I think he pulled like to go forward, and like his ear came off. It was it like pulled it off or something. I don't know what happened, but yeah, he lost an ear and everything. He's Please. done some crazy, crazy stuff. We need some Jesus. <laughs> All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit the like button. If you need to subscribe, also comment down below what you guys want us to react to next. We'll do it. Let us know some other matches you want us to check out, and I'll definitely show Emily. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.